Hello friends, in this video I shall take up two problems of fractions that is statement problems and uh, I will try and solve these through the traditional method and uh, then through the shortcut and then uh, we will assess as to how much time we can uh, save using these shortcuts. Traditional method obviously they are good for class 6, 7 students when they are studying this topic uh, at school level but shortcut is very useful for saving time in competitions. So you need to be well aware of the shortcuts and uh, if you follow the traditional method in uh, competitive exams then obviously a lot of time will go waste. So let's see the first question of this kind. Ram spends 3 seventh of his money to purchase a book. So there is particular amount of money with Ram and he is spending 3 by 7 of his money to purchase a book. And after purchasing the book whatever amount he spends if he uh, subtracts that from the total money he had he is left with rupees 220 so we need to find the cost of the book a very simple problem but our intention is to save time let's see the traditional method first up now see when we have to solve this using the traditional approach first of all we need to find out the portion of money left with him so in traditional method we will first write portion of money spent on book is 3 by 7 this is given so portion of money left now how do you find the portion of money left we have to subtract 3 by 7 from 1 this will give you 7 minus 3 by 7 that is 4 upon 7 now this is the portion of money left with him after he has spent some amount on the book. Now 4 by 7 of the total money is what is left behind that is rupees 220. So now you need to find out how much money was there with him. So money is equal to 220 into 7 by 4 so you can cancel this. For, okay this is 4 5s are 20. So 55 and money is now 55 into 7 rupees 385. Now this is the amount of money he had. Now what is the cost of book? So cost of book is what is the total amount of money 385 and how much money is left with him? This is 220 so just subtract that. And you get the cost of book, it is rupees 165. So, this is the traditional approach of solving this question. Now, let's see how we can solve this through the shortcut and how many steps we can skip in competitions. Obviously, not at school level, but for competitions, this method will suit you more. Now, whenever this questions, these type of questions, you know, that uh, is asked in uh, competitions then do not follow all these steps. You can directly get to the money, total money with him. Now how do you find the total money? The first step in rough work what you have to do in competitions is to find the total money and how do you find the total money? See this total money is how much ever amount is left with him 220 multiplied by now see 3 by 7 is the portion of money spent on book. So take the reciprocal and take the difference of the two in the denominator. So this will give you the direct answer for the portion of money left. This is rupees 385. So you can see already we have you know found out one thing total money with him here. We obtained those steps. Uh, you know four five steps here and we obtained this answer but here we have got it directly so cost of book can be found out in the next step orally which we have done already here so just subtract 385 and the amount left you get your answer page 165 now this is the important step which we need to know for competitions how do you find the total amount when a particular fraction of the amount is spent on a particular thing. So how much ever amount is left multiplied by whatever the portion of amount 
is uh, spent take the reciprocal and in the denominator take the difference of the numerator and denominator so that will give you the total money uh, with the uh, person and after that cost of book is just a formality now see the second question a man gave one third of his money to his son one fifth money to his daughter and remaining to the wife and the wife's share is given here it is rupees 35000 so we need to find the total money now first of all the traditional approach of solving this question so we will write everything here that the portion or you can write fraction also portion given to son is 1 by 3 then portion given to daughter is 1 by 5 so we need to find the portion given to wife so how do you find that just like we did here 1 minus so we have to subtract these so 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 so now you have to take LCM and solve it this is 15 LCM so 15 minus 5 minus 3 which comes out to be 7 by 15 now this is the portion of money which is given to the wife now we are already given that wife's share is rupees 35,000 in the question means 7 by 15 of total money is 35,000 and now we can find out the total money 35,000 multiplied by 15 by 7 so this will come out to be rupees say 7 fives are so 5,000 so 15 into 5 75,000 is the total money with the person now this is the traditional method of solving this now if you can find out a way through which you can find this answer directly through the shortcut then obviously a lot of time will be saved in the exam now for the shortcut you need to remember one or two points here now see two fractions are given here it is 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 so if you assume that one of the portions is 1 by a and the other portion is 1 by b mind you 1 by a and 1 by b if there is any other number apart from 1 in the numerators then the method will not apply so I am taking one third and one fifth so I observe that the numerators are 1 so I have considered them as 1 by a and 1 by b now how do you get to the answer here the total money can be found out directly using the wife's share of rupees 35,000. If this step can be attained directly, then lot of time will be saved in the exam. And how do you get to this step directly? See, wife's share is 35,000 multiplied by, how do you get this 15 by 7? I am telling you how to frame the shortcut, how to remember the shortcut. From where did we get this 15? 15 was the LCM of 3 and 5. So here we have 1 by 3 and 1 by 5. So 3 and 5 the LCM was 15. So this is what is 15 here in the numerator. So what I do is I take the LCM of A and B in the numerator. I am writing the shortcut here so that you can remember it. Otherwise I would have solved it in 10 seconds time only. LCM of A and B. And how do you get this 7? 7 is obtained by subtracting A and B from the LCM. So LCM minus A minus B. Now this is the important step we need to remember that whenever such type of questions come in competitions then we can find out the total amount after distribution among two per persons and knowing the amount which is received by the third person. So whatever amount is received by the third person, just multiply the LCM of the two denominators 
and in the denominator we will have the difference of LCM and the two denominators. So let's apply this here directly 35,000 into LCM, LCM of 3 A and B here 3 and 5 is 15 and 15 minus 3 minus 5. So again 7. So this step is obtained directly. I know it must be sounding a little bit uncomfortable you know for remembering all these things but with practice anything can be achieved and uh, people who uh, get success in uh, competitions in the first attempt they do know all these kinds of shortcuts. So now you can cancel this 7 5 times so 5000 and finally 15 into 575 so 75000 rupees is the answer which you got through the traditional method also. So friends, these are the methods, you know, which we need to, these are, these are all actually based on understanding only. If you have proper understanding of the question, the fractions, the concepts and uh, proper attitude towards the numbers, only then these shortcuts will, you know, sound comfortable to you. Otherwise, go by the traditional method that is more convenient. So, if you like this video, do share it with all those friends who are preparing for competitions because I am sure it is going to save a lot of time in competitions and if you have not done till now, do subscribe the channel also.